Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. Hello everybody, my name is Elbrick and welcome back to the SCPs of Sorter. Now today, literally the day I'm recording this is when this video came out. We're reacting to the Nartwin. Now it takes place during, the, I'm pretty sure it takes place during the whole Nartwin uh, creature episode. In, back in season 4 of the stories of Sodor. And before I get into today's video, I realized at the end of the last reaction video that there were two different Kirito re videos. Did not know that, and I did not realize it when I re reacted to it. I mean, I was able to deal with the whole audio thing, but audio description thing, I didn't... That was also the first time in my life I've ever heard it, so it's not like I would have noticed the difference right away. But I did hear about it from a friend of mine a few months ago, who were watching a movie, and I think that was on for some reason. Um, but... Anyway, enough about that. It, what's done is done. It, it already reacted to it. I can't fake a reaction to the to the original. But I enjoyed it regardless. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get right into to this into this video in three, two, one, go. I have two I have two different water bottles here with me, just so you guys know. Is this is this the is this when his trucks got away from him. I think this might be it. Yeah, this is it. Because his brake van broke. It made his coupling broke. That's when Rusty opted to push uh, his train. We know that they know this would lead to some major consequences.
the SCPs of Sodor. The Nar Twin. Report. There aren't any teeth marks on the body. Whatever decapitated the poor fellow must have had very powerful hands. Why do you say hands and not claws? Because there weren't any claw marks. There aren't any on this lot either. But we did find several punctures caused by stabbing. More like punching. Whatever did this was ridiculously strong. <laughs> Dr. Pierce, our people just found something at the bridge. Very well. Dr. Murphy and I will investigate. You and oh. Dr. Hadley will speak to the engine who was involved in that accident yesterday. So that's the body of another dark one. How did it go? It was difficult. The remains were severely damaged. We were able to reconstruct some of the body. It matches the general description of the Natwin and of SCP-1000. Can't say I'm surprised. That was our suspicion oh. last time we were on Sodor. I am surprised. I didn't think so there the were- So the Natwin is just an SCP-1000? And he left outside of North America. Neither did we until now. The question is how many might still be out there. Whatever that number, we have a problem, sir. While we were speaking with the engine, another told us a group of hunters set off to track down whatever attacked the work site. They were operating under the assumption it's a bear. I've already got people out looking for them. I just hope we find them first. Nope, the hunters get killed. Didn't give him amnestics? There's no point, he already spoke to the papers, but it will be easy to discredit his story. He has a long record for drunken disorderly conduct. He was sober enough to confirm SCP-1000 killed his mates. Indeed, since 1000 is categorized as a dangerous anomaly, the Foundation has ordered us to lock down the valley and contain any instances we find. The locals won't like that, sir. I'm sure they'll like getting killed even less. <laughs> That's why the military showed up in that episode. It wasn't in. First, it wasn't an SCP thing. Not until they realized it. This is where Bailey gets arrested. There he is. And this is where Rusty witnesses it.
How the hell did you lose him? He was tougher and faster than he looks, sir. Oh, that's encouraging. If you can't hold on to some ancient fogman, how are you gonna catch an 8 foot 400 pound gorilla? I'm sorry, sir, it won't happen again. It better not. Get to your posts. Flippin' Southern Fairies. Ease up, Gavin, ah. you're working yourself into a tizzy. I know, Gwen, I'm just a little stressed. I hate these kinds of operations. It doesn't take much for them to go tits up. <laughs> They've spoiled the Nartwin. We're the outskirts of town. Come on, you lot, move it! Hello. All Report. Good news is there are no fatal injuries. Some broken bones are the worst of it. What did the engine's crew have to say? They saw everything, but I gave them amnestics before they were lowered into the ambulance. And the engine? Completely unconscious and severely damaged. I wouldn't recommend transporting him to the works by rail. His well-being is not our concern, Dr. Murphy. If his no, crew yeah, saw the knot when it stands to reason, he did too. Which is why I dropped a few amnestics into his water tank, sir. But we should help him. It was one of our lorries he crashed into. A lorry that was chasing a dangerous anomaly. Speaking of which, have we been able to relocate it? No, sir. How unfortunate. Dr. Pierce, Sir Handel's here. He's demanding to speak to someone in charge. I'll take care of him. Find SCP-1000 and do it quickly. Yes, sir. That explains a bit much how Duncan had the accident. the night they encountered it. Ugh, blimey, I'm knackered. I'm not surprised. You've been hard at it for hours. You need to rest. Good idea. If there's a silver lining to all this, it's that we've scoured the perfect location to build that new base at the north end of the valley. What will the cover story be? A training camp and storage site for the army. Officially, it'll be called Camp Coldy. Unofficially, it'll be Site 13. Site 13. <laughs> Agent Potter, they spoiled the Nart when moving through Sector 4. Where's that? Not far from here. Everyone, let's go! Gwen, you stay put. Gladly. Wait, so if she was here, does that mean the others? Would have come through already? Bailey should be around here somewhere. Is the quality running down or is it just me? Oh, I didn't see anything. Bailey. Bailey. Bailey.
What do you mean disappeared? Exactly that, sir. I blinked and he vanished into thin air. That's where he also came from. I have no idea how he did that. Oh, and he is tougher and faster than he looked. You have some broken ribs. At least I'm still breathing, unlike some of my men. Casualties had to be expected, Agent Jesus Potter. Christ, he said dude, Mr. Bailey told the Nartwin to run. Yes, valuable. sir, but for the life of me, I can't figure out why he- Ow! Sorry, that's a nasty cut you have. How'd you do that? After I ran inside the signal box, I tripped. I must have hit my head on the way down. If I was conscious, I would have stopped those engines from going on. <sighs> why do non-faceless vehicles act more human than machine? <laughs> what is it now? We found the Nartwin, sir. The dead? Come to finish me off? You can speak? Obviously. In that case, we should talk. Talk? <sighs> In my experience, humans only ever use words as a last resort. That's been my experience too. I'm Dr. Pierce. Do you have a name? Does it matter? If you're here to execute me, then let's get on with it. You'll be doing me a favor. Why is that? With the railway carving its way through the valley, I will soon lose my home. It has already taken my brother. Your brother? Is that who was killed at the bridge? And just like that, it was over. They lifted the lockdown after announcing they killed the quote-unquote bear. You know, before I came here, I had no idea we had bears in the UK. Sodor is the only place in the British Isles you'll find them. And instances of SCP-1000, it seems. What is that? Bigfoot. Or rather, big feet. According to the wiki, they were once the dominant species on Earth. They fought a war with ancient humans for supremacy and lost. Most were wiped out with the survivors going into hiding. Over time, these groups died out. It was thought the only ones left were located in North America, but according to later testimony, it seems a tribe of their kind survived on Sodor and even coexisted with the locals. Testimony from whom? Old Bailey. The Foundation caught him? Eventually, yes. And he shared a different perspective on Sodor's history, especially when it came to the legend of King Godred. Like what? That's a story for another day. But yes, according to him, to the tribe that. was hunted when the Danes took over. Only two survived. Croven and his brother Harwin. Croven the wizard? More like warrior. If you can believe old Bailey, the legend had more than a few embellishments and lies. Can you be sure he wasn't the one who was lying? No, I can't. Do you think it's possible? I don't know. What I do know is the Nartwin Express is still running to this day, and people are still claiming to have seen it. Either they're mistaken, or there are more out there. And that has me concerned. Why? Why? The wiki goes into a lot more depth about the relationship between SCP-1000 and present-day humanity. It's... tense at best, and I'm willing to bet it wouldn't take much for things to spiral out of control. No, it would not. The hell are you? Wait a second, I know who you are. Adeline? Is that your name again? I forgot. Why is she there? And this guy's on his phone. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh boy, here we go. So that is the SCPs of Sodor the Nartwin. Uh, it did answer a lot more questions than we previously had in the creature episode of Sodor's Stories of Sodor. Um, as for this ending, I don't know if it's canon or if the SCP stuff can is well, the SCP Foundation is canon within the Sodor's, Stories of Sodor universe. But these endings and what Edward is talking about, I don't know if they are canon. That's the thing. But we'll get an answer, probably an answer throughout uh, Season 5. 
and such. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's reaction video. Please like and subscribe all this stuff, guys, and I will see you later. Bye.